Welcome to everyone. This is me Vishnu Desi. Today I am here with you to present experimental verification that is related to the parallelogram. At the previous classes, we have learned six experimental verification. If you want to learn this experimental verification, video link is available in the description box. Today we are going to learn experimental number seven that is the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Number seven. Experimentally verify that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. In this statement, a parallelogram is given. We have to verify opposite sides are equal. To verify experimentally, we need to construct more than two figures having different shape and different size. Now we are going to construct three parallelograms having different shape and different size. To construct a parallelogram, draw a line segment of any length here first and mark a point above this line segment and start to move next one set square from the tip towards the point and take out first one set square and start to move from the tip towards the point means given lines are parallel line now you start to construct next pair of parallel line at first you can take a any line segment and mark a point anywhere above this line segment like this and start to move next one set square from this tip towards the point and take out first one set square and start to move from this tip towards the point means this pair of lines are also parallel P, Q, R, S is a parallelogram because its opposite sides are parallel to each other. In this way, try to construct next one parallelogram. Draw a line segment of any length at first. Mark a point above this line segment. Start to move next one. Set square from this tip towards the point. And take out first one set square and start to move from this tip towards the point. Like this. Means given lines are also Parallel. Need to draw next one pair of parallel line. You can take a straight line at first and mark a point. To move next one set square from the steep towards the point like this, and take out first one set square and start to move from the steep towards the point. Then you can extend this one line is your needed. This is also parallel line. P Q R S. In this way, try to construct next one parallelogram. Draw a line segment of any length. Mark a point. Next one set square from this tip towards the point like this. Take out first one set square and start to move from this tip towards the point like this. These lines are also parallel. Now we need to draw next one pair of parallel line. At first, you can take a any straight line, is your wish, and mark a point. And start to move next one set square from this tip towards the point like this. And take out first one set square and start to move from this tip towards the point. These lines are also parallel. P Q given P Q R S is a parallelogram. To verify side Q R is opposite to the side P S, side P Q is opposite to the side S yes, R. First one Q R equals to P S. Second one, PQ equals to yes. A measurement table.
Now measure all the four sides of each parallelogram by using a scale. Let first from figure one Q R. 2.8 cm this is also 2.8 now PQ two point seven this is also two point seven cm result QR equals to PS PQ equals to SR now from the second one figure from the second one figure QR three point four CM This is also 3.4 cm. Now PQ 3.3 cm. This is also 3.3 cm. Means QR equals to PS, PQ equals to yes. From the figure 3. QR 1.9 cm This is also 1.9 cm PQ 3 cm This is also 3 cm Means QR equals to PS, PQ equals to RS. From this table, we can say that length of QR equals to length of PS, length of QR equals to length of PS, and length of PQ equals to length of SR, length of PQ equals to length of SR, means opposite sides are equal. Conclusion. And we have finished our experiment. Now we are going to learn experiment number 8 that is the diagonals of palm bisect each other. Experiment number 8. In this statement, a parallelogram is given. We have to verify diagonals bisect each other. Let's start with the construction of three parallelogram having different shape and different size. To construct a palm, we need set square. Draw a line segment of any length at first. And next one set square from this tip towards the point like this and take out first one set square move from this tip towards the point I'm going to draw next one pair of parallel line means given line also parallel Then join opposite vertex Q and S P and R. In this figure, Q, S and P, R are diagonals of this parallelogram. Suppose intersecting point is O. In this way, try to construct next one parallelogram.
then join opposite vertex intersecting point is O in this way try to construct next one pam and start to draw next one pair of parallel lines Q R S join opposite vertex suppose intersecting point is O given P Q R S parallelogram To verify diagonals bisect to each other means length of PO equals to RO, length of QO equals to SO. Now we are going to measure the length of P, O, R, O, Q, O, S, O from the each parallelogram with the help of scale. From the first figure, length of P, O. Three point two. Same. Length of R, O. This is also three point two cm. Length of QO two point seven CM SO also two point seven CM result PO equals to RO and QO equals to SO. Now from the second figure length of PO. One point eight length of RO one point eight CM length of Q one point seven length of SO this is also one point seven CM means length of PO equals to R O Q O equals to S O. Now from the figure three, two point four length of R O. This is also two point four length of Q O. Two point three. length of SO this is also 3.3 cm means PO equals to RO QO equals to SO from this table we can say that length of PO equals to length of RO length of QO equals to length of SO means diagonals are bisect conclusion
students we have finished our experiment if you have any confusion you can ask me a question in the comment section below and stay safe stay healthy see you in next video bye bye